promoting moderation within Islam and understanding between Muslims and non-Muslims must remain an integral part of Malaysia's foreign policy. And it is a key global challenge where I believe Malaysia can make a positive difference. I have spoken of the need to promote moderation within Islam in order to promote global peace and stability. Allow me to turn to the issue of youth empowerment and the importance of engaging young people, a particularly pertinent challenge for many Muslim nations today. Youth unemployment is one of the most pressing problems for young Muslims. As responsible leaders, our response must not be to try and control the internet or ban new communication tools which are inherently valuable to a modern economy. Instead, we must ensure that young people are given a stake in our society. We must create political and economic systems in which young people can achieve their aspiration. The young people who dare to dream and their dreams can be fulfilled. For Malaysia, economic reforms have opened up our economy to the world. We have moved from being a largely agrarian society to a modern industrial powerhouse with a thriving high-tech sector. Incomes have risen fast, while unemployment remains low and educational attainment high. As our country become richer, it has also become more politically mature. Political reforms have kept up with economic progress and so young people have a stake in society and a hope for the future. We have not suffered the upheaval of a Malaysian spring because our economy is vibrant enough to accommodate young people's aspirations and our politics is mature enough to accommodate change and continuity. We can show that it can be modern, open, democratic, successful and being a majority Muslim country at the same time. And by demonstrating this, not only do we create a prosperous country in which we can all succeed, but we can also help to defeat the anti-modern and regressive narrative that is at the heart of extremist preaching. Allow me to finish by talking about an aspect of empowerment, which I also believe is integral to creating a prosperous and equitable global economy. Just as Malaysia uses its global influence to promote Wasatia, I believe we should also strive to set a good example in regards to female empowerment. According to the World Bank, of the bottom 20 nations for female labour participation, 19 are majority Muslim countries. Oh,